Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to install, configure Sonar Cube on Ubuntu machine. Let's get into the demo. So I have created AWS on Ubuntu server named as Sonar Cube and I just connected that VM. Let me update that VM sudo apt-get update iPhone y So the prerequisite is to install Sonar Cube, we required Java and at least 4 GB memory is required. So I have taken that uh, T2 mic, T2 medium or T2 large you can take. So in my case, I have taken T2 X large. Now. We have to follow this documentation. So we have to install Java JDK 11. Depends on the Sonar Cube version you are going to be install. So in this case, I am going to install Sonar Cube 9.8. The current version is 10.0. So this is the official documentation of Sonar Cube. So which was released on December 2022. The Sonar Cube 9.8 version. The latest version is 10.0, which is released on April 2023. We have 10.1 point 10.1 also, which is released on June 2023. So, so we are going with 9.8 version. So Java is installed. Let's check Java if and if and version. So it is installed Java. Now we have to install and configure Postgres SQL. add postgres sql sign in key complete it install postgres sql It is completed. Now database server to start automatically on reboot. We uh, have to run this command enable and start Postgres and uh, Now we have to give the password. So you can give any password. I am giving this password. Password is updated successfully. So you, whatever the password you are going to be set, you have to give that. Switch to the Postgres SQL. Same password I am giving. It's done. Now create sonar user. Log into PLSQL.
now we have to run this command here you have to give the password so it is completed now create a sonar cube database set to the sonar owner create a database now grant the privileges for that sonar cube it is granted permissions now quit slash cube it is completed now if you exit just type exit now come out of that postgres sql now you are into the ubuntu user now download and install the sonar cube so we have to require the zip So this is the official sonar cube documentation for download page it will be open this one and uh, whichever version you are going to be install you can take that one so as this suggested they have to given iphone version number so you can give that version number here just right click on this download link and copy the link and if you copy it right so it will show you that the version number like 9.2 8.0.6368 and uh, you just need to copy that sudo wget so this zip file is Downloaded no unzip this zip file. Now rename that Sonar Cube nine point eight two. I'm just making to Sonar Cube. Now I am moving this file Sonar Cube to slash opt. Now, if you want to, you can download that file. You can delete that file as well. Now, switch to the opt directory. So here, my sonar cube is available. So same steps they have mentioned here also. Unzip and uh, move that sonar to the opt directory. Now, add the sonar cube group and user. Add sonar. Now sonar cube provided the permissions for sonar changing the ownership. It's completed. Previously it should be Ubuntu user. Now it should be the sonar user for that sonar cube. Now configure the sonar cube. So we have to use here nano it is used now we will go with the vim editor so here we have to set that username and password username is sonar and the password which we have to configure this password we have to give just uncomment this and if you scroll down here jdbc url we have to provide sonar cube 
JDBC URL. The Postgres URL we have to add here. Once this is done, I think that is the only change. They are asking to change. Here run as sudo va think it is not required this one doesn't require this run as one now we have to create sonar service we need to run a service system d service so we just need to make sudo va we have to create this file and copy paste as it is the complete information paste and we have to enable the sonar cube it is enabled now System CTL starts on our cube. It is started and status. It is running successfully. Started the sonar cube. Then modify the kernel system limitations limits. So VA. sudo vi if you scroll down you have to add these two lines this we have to add okay then save so once this is done we have to apply we have to apply the changes sudo reboot we can do with this command or we can do from ui as well reboot the instance so I'm passing the video until now VM is rebooted. Now, if you check the status of SonarCube, it is started running. Now, what you need to do is you have to open the Sonar from the UI. So, you need to take the public IP, and the Sonar will be running on port 9000. So, in security group. I have already opened all the ports so in your case if you wanted to open security group 9000 port you have to give 9000 with IP so the default username is admin and the password is admin and it will ask you to the change the password and you have to give old password admin and the new password you can give anything and you just need to remember that password see it is updated running successfully okay so we are able to access the sonar cube from the ui see it is showing that version 9.8 
that's all about in this session if you like the video please share and subscribe thanks for watching